Farmers in Ponchatoula are trying to recover this week after the heavy rain all but decimated their crops last week. Local 33's Talia Samalian has details on one farmer's fight for his land. Eric Morrow's strawberry field is a sea of red and green. And at first glance, it looks like eight acres of healthy fruit ready for picking. They were really looking really good. But then came the heavy rain last week. Nobody escapes the rain. It was a lot of water everywhere. Um, it was coming up. 16 inches of water washed away Morrow's hope for a good season. Anybody who's farming, they're going to take a loss every now and then. You're going to take a beating. Morrow took a $50,000 beating. That's two pickings worth of ripe fruit gone in the middle of harvest season. There's no way to really make this back up. Instead, he's just looking to curb his losses. So it's costing money to go out here and uh, pull this fruit off and throw it away. So you're not getting the fruit plus you're paying to clean it up. All the strawberries you see down these middle aisles are no good. They're covered in dirt and silt and have to be thrown out. So we're going in here and we're cleaning off all the damaged berries. And then we're trying to save all of our, um, our green berries and our green fruit that's coming out, our fresh green fruit. Morrow says he can't let down his loyal customers. So he'll swallow the loss, knowing his next harvest will ease the pain. Can't throw our uh, hands up in the air and say, "Woe is me," you know. We're gonna come on back. For local 33 news, I'm Talia Samalian. And in case you're wondering, strawberries are a specialty crop, so farmers get no federal aid when disaster strikes. They're all on their own.